So how are you doing guys? Uh, let me show you a little problem. Just do your login, normal login. Um, if you click on QR codes, we, we see this problem. It says the requested resource was not found on this server. But if we go back and click on roles, see that roles works perfectly, transactions work perfectly, and the whole lot, except QR codes. But then if we do QR code slash one, it works. The only problem is that QR codes itself, that's the index page, doesn't work. And the reason is something funny that happens in Laravel. It happens when you create a folder with the same name as your route. So if you go to routes, I click on web.php, we have these QR codes as a route, a resource, a resource, a resource, a resource. So now, if you go to resources folder, you see QR codes, it's, it's exactly the same name. But the reason why that problem is having, happening is that inside our public folder, we have another folder that has exactly the same name. That's why the problem is. So we have to rename this folder. I'll do um, QR codes. I think we should call it generated QR codes. Generated. Generated underscore QR codes, which means we have to go back to our QR code controller code. This is a QR code controller. Then we have to scroll down to store. So here we're going to give it the same name, generated QR codes. All right. So that will sort our problem out. So which means if we come and refresh, it works perfectly now. So if you had, if you ever have that problem, you should know what the cause is. So now we're going to go uh, straight up and try and create a new QR code request. And the website is whatever website I have, whatever name I have. Um, I can just call this uh, introduction to Bitcoin trading. This is the course I've made. This is the course I've made. And um, call back URL. We'll just choose any URL, uh, website, product URL, whatever. And uh, Count is let's say eighty dollars. Uh, save. Um, undefined variable QR code. Obviously, a problem. All right, here we have this issue. We'll go back to our code. So we're trying to retrieve the ID of this QR code even before we save. This is where we're saving the data, but we're trying to retrieve the ID. So we have to rearrange our code a little. We'll copy this code, paste it here, such that we save the contents of the of the form first, so that we can retrieve the ID, right? Then we create the QR code and save it in the file. And then if it is saved, we need to update that table, all right? So we have to do... Um, QR code. This is how you update in Laravel. QR. Um, QR code. QR code. And then you do where ID is equal to QR code ID. That's the the place we are updating. So we update and then. What we're updating is just the QR code path. So the QR code path is what we're updating. You can now say is equal to, we can choose either of this. I think we should just choose this. Input QR code path. Um, there is an error somewhere, that's why. Oh yeah, this shouldn't cover here. It should be this way. So what I'll do is I'll break them down so that you can see it in just one screen. So this is what we have. I'll break this down again. And then I'll break this down. So we're basically saying um, update database. All right, we're basically saying, hey, look, um, first of all, create the, the record um, create the QR code, and if it was uh, successfully created, then update the, the database. 
with the QR code, uh, find the record you just created and update it by updating the field, QR code field with what we now have in QR code. That's just it. So let's go try again and refresh. When we click reload, click continue. And it worked. The ID is ID number two, which is the second record. And these are the contents. But let's see if QR code was actually created. So we can go here. We'll go to our public folder. Public. Inside generated QR codes. If we click on it, we'll now see that there is a QR code titled 2. If we click on it, we'll see the QR code. You see? Beautiful. So it's titled what? 2. And guess what? Uh, right here, the ID is 2. So we, we designed this platform in such a way that the ID is always going to contain the name of the QR code. The ID of the QR code uh, request or whatever that was created will be, the, will be the same ID as the QR code itself. Now, our next challenge, let me check the time. Um, our next challenge will be to actually display that QR code image here. Now, um, we'll have to do it in the next video.